What is the concentration of hydrochloric acid? If we have 25 mils of it, and we add it to sodium hydroxide. We have 18.62 milliliters and 1.25 mole per liter. You want to put the information that you do know underneath your reactants. We want to know the concentration of acid. We need a balanced chemical equation. What do you get when you add HCl and NaOH? Uh, NaCl and H2O. Yeah, NaCl and H2O liters. So this is going to be straightforward. It's just a one-to-one -one reaction because this is balanced. So, we know C is equal to the moles divided by the volume. So it's moles per liter. So the first step then is to calculate the moles of base. Your volume has to be in liters, so divide by a thousand. <coughs> and that will give you moles of base. What number do you get? Evan? Anybody else? Can anybody verify that number? So convert moles of acid, divide the moles of acid, divided by the volume of acid, and you get? 1.2 molar acid, you've got 20 milliliters. You have 15 milliliters of base, and it's a 1.0 molar solution. So, it wants to know. The pH of what's left after you mix these two things together. So, basically we have a beaker where we've got 20 mils of this acid. We have a beaker where we've got 15 mils of this base. If we add them together, what's our final volume? It's going to be 35 milliliters of liquid. That's going, going to play into this as well. So that's going to be our total volume. All right, so you need to figure out moles of acid and moles of base. Evan? 
it's one to one. So for every one mole of HCl that gets consumed, it uses up one mole of sodium hydroxide because the ratio is one to one. If it was H2SO4, it would be for every one mole of H2SO4, you need two moles of base. So, which one's going to be an excess? This is happening a lot today. So, because it's a one-to-one -one ratio, 0 0.015 moles of sodium hydroxide uses 0 0.015 moles of HCl. You can make that statement, or you can show the math, 0 0.015 moles. That sign says otherwise. It's true. It's true. Which is why nothing was said about that. Right? Okay. So, we've got 0 0.015 moles of NaOH. To convert that to the moles of acid that was consumed, you would just do a mole ratio. So, you can make it, you can show that there's uh, how much acid was used using a statement or converting the moles of base to the moles of acid using a mole ratio. So, how much leftover acid do we have? Edmund? Yes. You take how much you had, take how much you had, okay, just don't ask it to go back. Okay, so you take how much you had, from that you take away how much you used, and that gives you how much you have left over. And then you divide it by your total volume to give yourself your concentration. So, Well done. So you find the concentration, you find the moles of what's in excess, divided by the total volume. That will give you a concentration. If it is a strong acid, it's easy. That is the concentration of your H plus. If it's a one-to-one -one ratio. If this was H2SO4, what would I have to do to this concentration? If it was H2SO4, times it by 2 for 2 H pluses. If it was H3PO4, times it by 3. Okay, so this is nice. Our acid is in excess. If it was our base in excess, we would get the hydroxide ion concentration. You could either find the pOH and subtract that from 14 to give you pH, or use the 1 times 10 to the negative 14 relationship. You need to know those. It's very important that you remember.
these two pieces of information. You will need this on your final exam. Okay. It's important that you remember how to do that. Yeah? Okay, that's different. We're, that's a whole nother ball game. Whole nother ball game. Would have to make H plus, which would leave OH minus from the water, so you would make calcium hydroxide. Chloride would have to make OH minus, which would make H plus and Cl minus. Now, I have a question for you, and that is, are these weak or strong? Evan. The uh, acid is strong, the base is weak. Is the base weak? Both strong. Okay. <laughs> Love your answer. Okay, these are strong. You cannot make a strong acid and a strong base. Why? Because they... They completely dissociate 100%. So you won't actually make them. So these don't go. There's no reaction with these salts. So this... This solution stays at pH 7. There's no H plus, no, a, no OH minus made. This is why it has a pH of 7. Can't make this stuff. So there's none of this, none of this made. What was the next one? Okay, so NABR makes Na plus Br minus. What would we make? We would have to make H plus, which would mean we leave, lose an OH, we le we're left with an OH minus, so that would make NaOH. That would be OH minus that leaves an H to form HBr. Are either of these strong? <coughs> NaOH, absolutely, that's strong, so this one doesn't happen. HBr is strong, so this one can't happen. So this has a final solution of pH 7. So if your salt If the salt comes from a strong acid and a strong base, it will always be pH 7 because you cannot reverse the reaction, right? It cannot be reversed. What I want you to do, for, I want you to do two things for homework. First, I want you to do is this, but with sodium acetate. Right? We had one salt that was sodium acetate. I want you to tell me what you make. And I want you to tell me what you make if you have ammonium acetate. I want to know what your two products are, just like we just did.
that's your homework.